What's up, Chappy fam? It's Jen with Chappy Plans. Long time no see. Thank you so much for granting me the grace to, you know, just give myself some time away from the YouTubes and just recoup and, you know, reground myself and get back to my roots. And um, I appreciate each one of you. Thank you so much for helping me to reach my goal, which was to be able to monetize on YouTube here. So huge shout out. This video is for you. I appreciate you so much and obviously I have my new photo journal so if you want to see what I'm gonna do then you have to stick around thanks for joining me today um, this will be the first video I am sharing since I took the last week off after I found out that I in fact did not make the Happy Planner Squad. I was definitely bummed. I definitely needed some time to be in my feels for a couple days and I was able to do that which was awesome and um, just spend some time with my family. And yeah, I'm back. I am ready to start filming again. I am going to be switching around my lineup um, but not until next year because I just am a real stickler about... I feel like I need to complete the planners that I started. Um, so I'm going to stay with the current lineup that I have. And then come January, I do have quite a few changes. Um, I will be introducing, though, uh, a couple new planners to my lineup and switching that out. Um, that'll be in a separate video. For this video, um, I just wanted to share a flip through of my photo journal. I've gotten quite a few requests from folks just to see how I have used this amazing product and um yeah i eventually will do some sort of like a uh, memory plan with me so you can see and get a better idea of like the process um but again that's something i might do sped up and then do a voiceover just because it can be really tedious but we'll see so this is the seek magic um deluxe photo journal from the happy planner and i have some gorgeous blush deluxe metal discs on here because it's gonna get thick as i keep adding throughout the year um so in the front, I have a, the um, envelope that's got some photos ready to go. And this is just the photo insert page. I haven't finished filling it, obviously, but it's got some of the photos um, from this year that are some of my favorite memories. And I always write on the back, like what, what the occasion was, um, right? Because I want Nora to be able to look back at this someday and, um, you know, whoever else wants to see it, if they care to see it, um, so they know what, you know, what I'm referencing. So what I usually do is put a couple pictures. Um, I go through my phone and I figure out which memories I really want to capture. And then I will take a look at, you know, the pages and see if I can make them work for the type of occasion that I want to document. I hope that makes sense. So in this case, I just needed one page to document our Valentine's Day date. And um, I took pictures of our food. They were really dark because it was, you know, the ambiance in the restaurant was really dark and candlelit. So they didn't come out great, but it was nice just to be able to document our little date. And um, so that was January. And then we decided to go to Nickelodeon Universe and um, it was a lot of fun. It was not, there was like hardly anybody there. It was extremely clean. And um, yeah, so this is just a documentation of just our little um, overnight. And Nora had a blast. We had so much fun. It was the first time she rode like a legit like roller coaster. Um, and so I wanted to document that. And then on the way home, we stopped to get her her very first like Manny Petty. And like, you know, they did the whole, it was like the whole nine. They, you know, um, she got the robe and she got to sit down and pick out like a ring for her finger and it was just super cute. So um, that was that. And oh, if you notice, these pictures do not fit in the sizes that were already like put on the page and that's fine. I, I wanted to put all of these and fit them on two pages so I just made it work. Um, I am a former scrapbooker too. So like I feel a little bit less like nervous if that's the right word I don't know when I'm planning and doing this memory keeping because I'm kind of like oh I've been there done that and this this makes it easier for me just because of the layouts um so anyways this was Easter we did a um like an Easter egg hunt she wrote a pony that's her coloring the eggs creepy Easter bunny um that's her with her thumbs up ready to go 
and uh, creepy Easter Bunny again. <laughs> and this was like her favorite part was holding. They had like a whole bunch of little beady, 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 baby bunnies. And she got to hold them and she did not want to leave. So yeah, super cute. And I kind of went with like the theme. Um, these are from the rainbow colorful boxes that Mojo Jojo came out with. Um, and then, yeah, I used some of the memory keeping um, sticker books to add little quotes and like happy times and just a, there's just enough decor I think without it being like too much because the backgrounds of some of these um, pages are like busy enough as is right so and then this was we went to Great Wolf Lodge and Nora loves to go do the bowling there and the glow in the dark hockey that's why these pictures are not great because it's like you know, it's like going to the curb. You can't really, as my husband would say, you can't really, you know, get a great picture because it's like, you know, black lights and it's loud and anyway, but it was fun. And Nora's favorite thing to do with daddy whenever we go to any kind of arcade is air hockey. Um, and then that's just Nora chilling in the wave pool. And um, yeah, so that was fun. And then this was her recital day. Um, here, this was just after I got the memory keeping, like this, the tiny sticker pad, or I think it's called the petite sticker pad actually. And she was in four dances. This, these pictures are from her photo shoot. She was in like a tap ballet, um, and two hip hop dances. So, and she did an amazing job. It was outside and, um, it was really, it was a, amazing. She was, <laughs> she has quite the attitude, let me say. So that's my husband, Matt, and I and Nora right before she performed. It was a hot day too, poor thing. Um, and then this was the same day, poor grandma. She came, she flew out from Michigan. That's my husband's mom. And she, her flight, she had to book her flight before we knew exactly the final details for the recital because of COVID. So she just missed Nora's recital by like, I think she was landing when Nora was performing. So that was super annoying, but it is what it is. We were really glad to see her. Um, Nora, you can st see she still has her makeup on. She hopped right up on grandma and just wanted to snuggle her. It was just so sweet to capture this moment. I love my mother-in-law. She's the best. So um, this is us at like a, a little park near us and on a little hike. And that's us at um, a little like apple cider place where you can go apple picking in the fall and they have baby animals in the spring it's like a cute little farm and then we went mini golfing um, in a little tourist town close by us um, so it was a really fun trip and those were like the highlights and then this was our father's day weekend here I used some scrapbook paper from crate no what is it from Ooh, I can't remember, but I, if I can find it, I'll link it below. Um, I just have like this huge collection of random 12 by 12 sheets of scrapbook paper. And, um, I was just looking for something that would kind of go along with our like little Father's Day weekend. And I felt like this was totally appropriate because I mean, you can see the scenery and where we live. We live like close by mountains and we love the mountains. We love where we live. So we get all four seasons. It's just, yeah, it's awesome. Um, so we started our day with like going to this really fun place for breakfast and those are the pancakes Nora ordered. They're like chocolate chip. They were huge. She actually ended up not really liking them. So we sort of switched breakfasts. I said that there, Nora and I switched plates. Those pancakes were yummy. They really were. Um, and bacon, which is like the best food of all time. Sorry if you're a vegetarian. I'm just, bacon is like my favorite food. Um, so, and then that's Little Miss America on top of Prospect Mountain. It's really cool because you can drive most of the way up and then you can like hike the rest of the way to the top, which was awesome. And there were literally hundreds of thousands of caterpillars like all over. I don't know why or what the deal was, but they were like everywhere. It was like raining caterpillars. So, um, anyways, then we drove from where this was to Lake Placid, which is a little tourist town near where we live. And, um, that's Matt and Nora being really silly. <laughs> um, and that's in front of a little lake up in Lake Placid and we did some shopping and we went to dinner and stuff like that. So it was a really, really fun day. And we like to do Father's Day on the day before or two days before Father's Day because we find that things are a little bit less crowded and it's a little bit easier to get a seat at a restaurant. So that was our thinking there. On actual Father's Day, I think Matt actually grilled. 
but and this was Nora's last day of school this was her first day of public school not her first day of like homeschool because she does look very similar but her first day of kindergarten she looks a lot younger um and then to celebrate her last day I took her and her friend to Billy Bee's and I took her to lunch at Chipotle and this is a picture from her teacher um so yeah that was a fun memory to document and I think that's it yep that's it next I have quite a few pages I'm gonna need I might even need most of the rest of the section to document um, my next memory, which is going to be our trip to Michigan, which was like 10 days and tons of pictures I took. So, um, if you would like to see me do some sort of like memory keeping plan with me for that, let me know in the comments and I will try to film that. Um, but that's all I have so far. It doesn't really look like much, but trust me, it, each page does take a little bit of time, at least for me. Um, and it can be as, you know, involved as you want it and detailed as you want it or as simple as you want it i mean you don't have to even put extra stickers and boxes and decorate the pages if you don't want to you can just use it just the way it is um but this is i'm sort of still figuring it out i've never necessarily done this type of memory keeping um but i was really excited when happy planner came out with this product because i just think it's super smart um I also will have this week a flip through of my Archer and Olive bullet journal. One of them, um, I have a couple. I use the one for memory keeping as well, but in a different way. So make sure you're subscribed to my channel and you hit the bell so that you'll be notified when that video comes out. Um, again, thank you so much for watching and joining me today. Let me know what you think of this and what else you might like to see in regards to photo journaling or memory keeping, or if this isn't your cup of tea um, too, let me know. I want to stay relevant to all of you and I appreciate you watching. So like I said, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell and I will catch you in the next one friends. Remember that you are enough. Take care. Bye.